Hey guys and welcome to today's episode. Um, so a little bit different with this episode as you can see, the door's open. Uh, that is because I'm on my own. Rona is back um, actually at her work. She was been working from home uh, but she's been called in to do kids camp. So a little bit lonely uh, in the house but um, hell of a productive uh, day one <laughs> of that. Now body weight is holding Roughly 120, 121 kilos uh, as is conditioning. This past week, I actually only trained uh, twice. Um, so it was last Monday, Tuesday, and then had a, a deload. So took sort of five days off. Main reason was, was because my body was a bit battered. And also it kind of coincided with uh, a trip away that we were going on because uh, last week was supposed to be the uh, weekend that we got married. And uh, unfortunately, obviously, as of uh, COVID happened, um, that sort of, sort of cancelled those plans or, or just delayed them, rescheduled them. Um, and at this current moment, I should be um, on a beach in Bali. However, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm in uh, these four walls of my office and that is okay because hopefully we'll get a honeymoon uh, later on in the year. But you know what? This uh, this trip away that we had to, to Creef Hydro, it was brilliant. It, it was really, really good. It was just something that, um, you know, I, I think that any fitness professional would, would openly admit that you've just gotten used to operating at such a high workload and stress level the past sort of 16 weeks without really taking your foot off the gas because on your day off which you know you don't really get days off anyway you would uh, sit in the house because nothing was open there was nothing to do you couldn't see, you couldn't see anyone um and i think that me personally um i just didn't realize how much i had got used to that and when we went away i was just like oh wow and just like a like a massive sort of um relief shall we call it by all means things aren't over here in Scotland the gyms aren't you know there's no official date yet of when they're going to open but it was just so nice to do something uh, together out of the house um, you know it was really the first time I'd had a drink this year um, I don't really tend to drink you guys will know that um, but I think I had five or six pints and I was so rough the next day so rough because on the Friday we got there it was beautiful um, and um, yeah, we just had a drink and then I ended up falling asleep like half seven at night. Felt horrendous the next day. But we did like archery, we did air rifle shooting, different stuff. Um, it was really, really cool to do. Um, and I just, we came back Sunday and felt so refreshed. But, you know, it was the first time um, I had deloaded and then been in a physiological range. So today is the first session back since the deload uh, and usually I'll always come back like miles stronger but come to think of it, I don't think I've ever came off a deload being in a physiological range um, and yeah everything, everything is just so hard but you can't expect when like I've been, my body's been operating at such a high level of test for say so many so many years that the minute you come back down to what you would usually be if you're off cycle and um, that you'd be just as strong so i was i was a good sort of rep down on a lot of stuff today and i guess this is the part of if there was a body part of bodybuilding that i didn't enjoy it would certainly be this because the focus shifts away from getting brutally strong in the gym and and beating your logbook and pbs and that which is the the thing i enjoy the most to just if you have to work just as hard just to hold your lifts, which is a test in itself, but the main focus is on getting healthy. And I think um, what I'm starting to realise now is that I'm going to need to spend a long time here to get healthy, which I'm all right with, I'm fine with, because I value getting healthy and like I, I value longevity in this sport, not just being sort of, what's the word I'm looking for here? Being stupid with my with my health really, and um, when I, I want to start thinking about, you know, getting healthy and then starting a family and whatnot. So, for me, 
I think this hardest part is just up here. Um, you know, I think that any guy that's, that's been operating out with the physiological range for a long time, when you come back down, uh, you do think a bit differently. Um, it does affect your mood. Um, by all means, you're still the same person. Um, it just, wh whenever you do it, you'll you'll mess with me. You'll, you'll say that you know exactly what I mean about it. But um, there's there's nothing else for it apart from can you continue to do do the do. So yeah, it's it was a bit different. Um, when this when this goes live, it's a Tuesday, so I trained lower when I'm recording this today. I just felt a little bit out of sorts, really, if I'm honest. I think this has got a lot to do with just being back down in a in a physiological range. I used to, I guess, I used to always have this innate fear of um, of, of kind of coming back down to here, when when really it's fine. You just yeah, naturally you look a bit softer. You're not quite as full. Appetite's not quite as good. Uh, you're not quite as strong, but. Um, by all means, it's necessary for me, you know. When I think back to last year, my uh, my lipid profiles never really recovered. Um, after I pushed, had a recomp, they never recovered. Um, then prepped and pushed again. So, like, fuck, man, I, I need to, to have a bit of time um, getting them in check. Um, which, I've got time, you know, if I want to uh, prep next year. Plenty of time to get healthy. It's just that this will not be a four week recomp. It will be more than likely 10, 12, 16, however long is needed. Um, me and Cal have both agreed to just hold things and get health markers in check. Once they're in check, we'll push back up, whenever that may be. But, you know, training wise, still doing the do. There, there's nothing else for it. Um, I just, I have that internal sort of, I get that internal anger because I can't get stronger. Uh, you know, gym set to open here in England. Uh, well, not here, but gym set to open in England as of uh, I think it's Friday or Saturday. Sorry. And uh, fuck, man, you've got, that's Ireland, Northern Ireland, and now England and Scotland were just like, come on, like, it is what it is. Uh, I'm excited, though, for that happening because that will ultimately continue to help the brand sort of progress. And, um, you know, this past weekend really was um, an eye-opener for me that I think that I set quite high level that even I struggled to attain uh, for my own um, personal goals. But to just sit back and think that the business has progressed, flourished in a time period where the number one thing that we need is shut. Um, it was just awesome to sit and think. Um, you know, Ali and Clara come under the brand um, in March when the gyms got locked down. Both have been awesome. Both have got their client, uh, their online client base up um, and have been like a, such a valuable um, like a valuable part of the team and represent the brand so so well um, so I'm, I'm excited and motivated to continue to progress for business um, and uh, I wish uh, that, <laughs> that health would hurry up and get itself back in check but that's going to take some time um, blood pressure back down within range we'll take that all day every day I sent off that fake gear well what we think is fake gear last week when it comes back I will post the results in uh, this uh, on these vlogs um, and I think that's what we have for this week. So um, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Wherever you are, whatever you do, give it the beans.